here we go, and welcome to another episode of our uh, Warcraft Fangs of the Moon campaign, where we take a little bit of D&D &D and a little bit of Warcraft and throw it in a blender and see what comes out. Not always the best thing, but eh, it's at least fun, or at least entertaining sometimes. Uh, anyways, uh, we're going to be jumping into our D&D &D 5e uh, rule set campaign. Uh, as you can see, we... Uh, we are using Tabletop Simulator to kind of do everything, all uh, to manage our dice and such. Everybody's got a nice uh, little set of dice next to them. And they also have dice rollers, so they can either roll the dice through the tower or roll the dice if they want, or use their uh, dice roller if they so choose. Uh, chances are somebody's game is glitched out and doesn't have, or in, uh, has one particular block of wood sticking up through the table because that is the current running bug in our game. It's not sticking game. up through the table, it's just horizontally covering the table. Yeah. <laughs> and you can tell whose who's, uh, game is doing that. Uh, for some reason, it just does, but I don't know. It didn't come like that with uh, in my game, so okay. Uh, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and dive on into uh, this particular campaign, of which I'm the GM of. Uh, hopefully, everything uh, still goes well. Um, it's been a little bit since we played, but... Everything should return back to us. Uh, and it should return back to our memories fairly quickly. Just like riding a bike, right? Alright. Warcraft, Fangs of the Moon, Episode 27. Back to the plan. With Darnas uh, safe and Lemadan being tended to by the clerics of Stormwind, the party continues their task. The dragon egg is secured and stored safely with the Katesh. And our heroes uh, took to the, Kachi the Cathedral for a night's rest before heading back to New Lordron. With a peaceful entrance in, uh, into the Mage Tower and a pleasant uh, br breeze blowing in from the sea, what is the next step to take? And Nuli still needs aid, the dark armored foes still pose a threat, and family is still in peril. Map transition. Everybody hold on to your rear ends because this could crash. This hopefully doesn't. There we go. You guys have just left the mage tower. Uh, matter of fact, as you've uh, left the mage tower, there uh, was a uh, party of uh, paladins who had just walked by, uh, walked by you to go towards the uh, portals of Darnassus. Looks like they were sending some uh, reinforcements there. Uh, among them was a uh, particular Jirnai who uh, seemed to be very excited to see you, Katesh. And... Matter of fact, he looks at you and goes, Oh, my friend, the dragon fell! It is so good to meet you! I am so very glad to have been able to meet you. I've been hoping to, to uh, meet people like you on this particular journey that I've been on. Uh, tell me, can you uh, share any stories uh, about any adventures you've had, maybe recently or such? Right, so do you want me to spend the whole time role-playing the entirety of what just happened, or or do we just want to... I won't tell them... Alright, um, um... What are you guys feeling? You should do some. I want to hear you. I want to hear you role play it. I want to hear right. what it. Comes I'm gonna need a reminder of what city that we were in because I didn't write it. New Lord Ron. What city we were in? No, no, the city that we rest our. Oh, Darnassus. just left Darnassus. It's okay. Well, we did just kind of save Darnassus from an invasion of, of uh, zombies. So that, that I mean, I'm dead. So there's that. Um, saved. Uh, is she a queen? Prin priestess? She's queen. Priestess. High Priestess? High Priestess. High Priestess. Right. Um, kind of, well, High Priestess is this one's um, mother, but also saved her from a Death Knight, kind of. Death Knight got away, but uh, we saved the entire city from like, this giant fleshy abomination thing. So what happened was, um, we showed up, and they were under attack from this giant opalus that was raining down on dead on them. And me and my two friends, um, one in dire wolf form, because he can do that, he's a druid, he's awesome. Um, we just ran in there, we rallied the troops, we rescued some people, uh, we defeated the waves of undead. This death knight shows up out of nowhere, just stabs the high priestess in the back, 
and we run after him. He's just, I mean, like, crazy powerful. Like, you would not believe he laid down this spell that I have not seen, like, ever. Like, it knocked out so many people. Like, me and me and my true friend over here, we're lucky to be alive. Um, anyway, but uh, we rescued we rescued his mom, and then we turn around, and there was this giant fleshy, I'm talking, like, giant, like, huge, like, think that's it, like, whoa. A giant abomination, like undead abomination, and it was attacking the city. And so what we did is uh, I got on um, and on his back, and uh, direwolf, and he was in direwolf form. And I was not, and bang the shield, like made a booming voice, um, mimicked the death knight's voice, and we convinced the abomination that he wanted us destroyed over the rest of the people. We lured him through the portal down to the docks, and there we dispatched him with the help of the glaives that were on board the ships. That is very, very exciting. Oh my, what? You got to ride on the Daryl? You're a Daryl? Cool. But uh, uh, he, it looks like he just kind of makes a mental note. You're a druid. Direwolf. Yada, yada, yada. Back As to this confession. conversation is going yeah, I don't on, give right. I, just, <laughs> I, just, I just lean over to Audric and I say, He's better at telling stories than us. We should have him recount all our tales. <laughs> Yeah, after we remind him what the names of the cities are and what your mother's... It's okay, this is because <laughs> I'm not that familiar with Warcraft, okay? No, nope, yeah. sorry, it's canon now. Okay. You're like, oh, we were just in the one city where there was, there was a out big of, tree and there was this one lady. I had a, my voice changed when I was clarifying out of character a detail yeah, that my yeah. character would know, okay? Katesh, nope. roll me a persuasion or performance, whichever one you want. Because you're telling this tale to a admirer, or at least somebody who um, is quite enthralled by your presence. Uh, I rolled a 16. With you persuasion. Have, you have gained a fan. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I have a fan? Oh no. It appears that fan? way. It appears that fan way. Base. Uh, he seems to be quite excited. As a matter of fact, uh, some of the other paladins who were walking with him have now latched onto his arm. Wait, wait, no, no, don't! I need to, I need to know more! And he gets dragged off into the portal. And right, well, I'll say after, it's like, the important thing is the Death Knight just, the Death Knight escaped and they're super powerful. We need to find a way to defeat them. We can't just keep fighting this war of attrition. Good. Go well. Serve the light. That is good! That is good advice! <laughs> As he transitions through the portal, he gets cut off mid sentence. And, uh. Oh, that's guys... more rude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were going to Darnassus, so chances are they were probably going to try to help clean up the place and secure the city and, you know, actual paladin things. Uh, it does look like he was a member of the Argent, uh, the Argent Don, um, the good guys, according to your story. So <laughs> the people I don't despise with every fiber yeah, of my being. The people you don't <laughs> despise. Um, they can be a little flaky, but they're not bad. Um, and uh, as you guys exit uh, the tower, you do note uh, that. Again, the breeze is coming in, but you do notice there are several people uh, walking by uh, dressed in red. I can tell you know exactly the shade of red here, and I need my different music. Yeah, it's just about the same way. We're still playing for Octopath Traveler is really good for music, but not necessarily this particular track for right now. Here go. You guys are now in New Lorraine. Uh Like I said, a couple of uh, uh, about four or so uh, people have walked by you dressed in red. Uh, they seem to be in a little bit of a hurry. But other words, the city is before you. You can do what you wish. Um, does any of us know what the trappings of this red outfit mean? 
Um, you have a vague idea. Um, you do know that they are related to uh, one of the Paladin factions. Uh, you're not sure where. Uh, Audric, you do know where. Uh, you've seen them before in uh, Gilneas uh, quite a bit, particularly towards uh, Hillsbrad and Silver Pine Forest, just north of uh, uh, Gilneas. Why do I know about them? Uh, you know that they are the Scarlet Crusade, or at least you've heard of them. Uh, you know they tend to be more of a fanatical faction of paladins. Um, more of a burn everything down, ask questions later kind of group. They're, I hate these people. Also, and just don't, because my sister is one of them, so we should just really not. We should just go. Okay? They're crazy. Yeah. Like, if they think people are infected with plague, they'll just murder them all. So, like, let's just, let's not, let's just... Let just these are either. different than the people that got dropped out of the bottom of the flying ship. These are different but people, people, yes, but knew. they are of the same organization. Okay, it was also the same people. That... Right. But if we stay, your people. sister might be here, and then we could see, and then we could see uh, one of those guys is really tiny. Like a kid-sized yeah, person. That's 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 not. I'm pretty sure she might. Anyway, let's just let's just go. Shall let's just we we'll just pretend we're not here, and we'll just we'll just go. Do you want to hide behind me as we walk? I don't really. <laughs> do. We're not paying attention. Let's just go. I'm just saying. Let's just not go talk to those people. We don't want to get them involved because we'll try and come up with a plan, and then they'll just bulldoze over us and do things we don't want them to do. Fine. Also, we really shouldn't tell them what you're trying to do because they might just be like, you can't cure that and then just kill people because they don't like undead. So let's just go. Wait, they're called what again? Scarlet Crimson. Crusade. Oh, Scarlet Crusade. They're the wackadoodles. Yep. They're the people my, my guy does not like. <laughs> okay, they're not really wack. They're more like, yeah, they're more, yeah, they're more wackadoodles. Uh, let's be honest, they're wicked news. Okay, so are we going to are we head into New Lordaeron then? Is that where we were? We are in. in. We're in. We're in. We're in. We got like here at the end of district. last session. So, like, let's go do what we're Sorry, to do. a lot of the explanation, I think, are loading, and I got cut out, so I'm like trying to catch up. Let's okay. Go. That's okay. Uh, but anyways, as they continue to depart. Uh, or uh, get farther away from you guys, and uh, you guys turn turn your faces towards uh, the um, the cathedral district. That's what it was, <laughs> uh, and the uh, particularly the cathedral light located in the center of town. Uh, and you start walking towards there. Uh, you do hear suddenly some alarm bells start going off, <laughs> like actual alarm bells. Of course. Of course. <laughs> um, At the end of last session, we made it to the town. It's like, oh, it's the town on fire. And it's like, oh, no, the town's all good. <laughs> uh, Five seconds after we get to the town, alarm bells start going off. Uh, yes. You also do see a couple of guards uh, just running about. Uh, kind of... Uh, God, going, halt! going through each section of the city, trying to... Looks like they're searching for something. Uh, when you say that, uh, one of the guards um, skids to a stop and then turns and looks at you. What? What's going on here? What are the alarms for? The alarms? Don't you know? No, just came from the portal. Explain quickly. Don't think. Explain quickly. All right. Uh, the sacred blade has been stolen. We're trying to find some people dressed in red and that's all the information we have because that's all they decided to tell us I saw some people dressed in red walking by are they those people I am already running you, after him yeah before you finish he, this guard is following or is running after them going the way you just pointed so by sacred blade they mean the ashbringer he didn't say he just said sacred blade I mean 
Yeah. I'm implying, I'm thinking the Ashbringer was here, and they probably wanted to murder a bunch of zombies, so... Do you want to go get them? I, I'm already running after, I'm already running okay. th back towards them. <laughs> and my little gnome is... Audric! Audric! Mm-hmm? Transform into a direwolf, I'll hop on top of you, and then we'll catch him faster. <laughs> Red the wolf! Red the wolf! <laughs> How far away are the people? Does that seem? Like <laughs> um, I think I I also have Benedict back, so I mean I'd be hopping on Benedict if you're not in dire wolf form and and going that way. So. No, I get. To, I'm riding him if he's in dire wolf form. I already claimed. I already said shotgun. Well, I'm riding Benedict then. So. I already claimed. I already claimed wolf riding privileges for the day. Okay. There we go. Okay. So you're riding Benedict. Benedict. There we go. There we go. And you want to be wolf form. Where did I put the animal bag out? Yeah, I did. Really big wolf. Nope, you ain't that big. Aww. No, uh, you ain't that small. I can eat, eat a house. Oof. Wait, I don't want to be my direwolf form because that's my weak form. Now I can be a stronger. Okay. Oh, what are you gonna be now? I can be an Allosaurus. A what? All right, I forgot. To go with that. Benedict, remember? That's what Tyler wanted. An Allosaurus. Okay, that would be a oh. giant dinosaur in the middle of... You think that dinosaur? Okay, if you want, that's... I'm I mean, riding Be a dinosaur, yo! <laughs> I mean, Benedict is already here, right? He's a dinosaur. He's a paladin mount and has special... So, with, him, with me riding him, he looks like a paladin mount, too! <laughs> uh, that would be about the size of a... Of an Allosaurus. Oh, Mary Poppins, you! Oh, yeah, that would be about the size of an Allosaurus. It might be a bit small, but yeah, that's about right. One, two, three. And the Allosaurus is riding the wolf. How did I do that? That's hilarious. Okay, so. Raptor default that big. It's fine. We're just hoping to intimidate them into stopping because they see a giant dinosaur following a tiny dinosaur down the road. Something of that nature. Okay. All right. Uh, you transform into I'm. Assuming you're going for an Allosaurus now? You have yeah, the stats for that, right? Because the bears are better because they get multi-attack, but Kyla really wanted me to be an Allosaurus. Either way, I... I've, I said you should do whatever got, you want. I've got a ton of minis. Okay, I don't want to be an Allosaurus because that doesn't really well, fit no! my vibe. No, I don't for you. Really, oh, I, was I don't want you to follow him around you, but now he said he doesn't care, so uh, I don't want... I just thought it would be cool. I didn't say you should definitely do it. Okay, uh, a bear. Okay, a bear, it's Nan. It was worth it for this moment. Me. Me I can, but just keep in mind, though, I can do it if we need it for epic, like, purposes <laughs> at some point. I oh! Should, should do it. Okay. You're not, just not swearing gonna do it, it off. Now. You're just not gonna... Oh, okay. I guess I can live with that. <laughs> okay. Bears so if you have any crazy schemes that involve dinosaurs, just keep that. My schemes will now involve dinosaurs. <laughs> Okay. Uh, that'll work for the size of the This bear. is going to happen. Okay, so I'm going to do a polar bear instead, I guess. Oh, <gasps> yes! I'm riding a polar bear! This feels like the golden compass now. I have white hair, so it goes with him. Look, I don't care really what he transforms to as long as it's cool and I can ride him. Because the riding is the most important part of this right now. Yeah, the Allosaurus is also super fast, but... 
Okay. It's kind of too I'm... big for riding purposes. I Unless you just get you, I give you a piggyback ride while I'm a human, and then I just sort of transform. Well, I guess if you're a spellcaster, it doesn't really matter. I'm a melee person, so I can't really ride an Allosaurus oh, and melee saying, at the same time. I am too high up. <laughs> Especially oh, no. since you are <laughs> like no. one foot long. No, what you do is you just strap me. You strap me to your upper jaw, and I'm just leaning over the top, and I hold my shield in front of your face, <laughs> and then I just bash people as you go and bite them. It's like, hello, I'm wearing a helmet. Its name is Cadet. <laughs> hey, I'm reading a 20 helmet. Helmet. I don't know what you're talking about. Pretty your head helmet. will never crack. Why did my... The music should not have gone through that quickly. We've been going through, like, 20 seconds. Okay. All right, so you're a polar bear. <clears throat> okay. Katesh is riding his raptor. Uh, Oriana, if you wish to ride the bear, you may ride the bear. Okay. I'm riding the polar bear. There's no question about it. Okay. I'll, I will cast spells from the top of this bear if I have to. And I'm riding the bear. <laughs> polar bear, there fire spells. Move out right. Each one of the squares is about five feet. That's how far you are away from them. Right now. The guard himself uh, is actually running off ahead of you because he's not waiting. Where's my guard? He's dumb. He won't be killed. Oh, most likely. Failed to load. Yeah, yeah. I don't care. Generic Wild Guard, where are you? Because I apparently forgot to pull out a generic Wild Guard. Okay. There you are, no work. She made the whole town out of dice towers. That way we could roll in the scenery. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the dice killed half more, more of them! <laughs> your, 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 your tokens tumble to my dice rolls, literally. Yep, you can just have <coughs> in a real Some table. Like Top. <coughs> no catching the plague on the stream. No catching the plague I'm, I'm, I'm eating peanuts. And a dust from it got in the wrong, the wrong pipe. Oh! Okay. <clears throat> I know the pain, but you're not allowed to Good. die on my stream. Oh, I, I would, I would hang up for the for the stream. Okay. No, he. That's so that the great. That makes me feel great. Okay. okay. I hang up so that you don't see me die, or also no one else sees me die. We don't know. Call me an ambulance, or a... yeah, exactly. Your brother oh, and I just oh, take oh, her and watch Oh, is he alive? <laughs> no! You are so frantically like, Can you call the police faster than me? <laughs> but how do you even I call the Tennessee know. police? You just dial 911 and say, question. Please put me in touch with the National Police Department. Yep, I'm really down to the like second up. question you and I asked. Please, this is the wrong police! How do we get all the Tennessee police? <laughs> All right, so we've got everybody a pet and a mount, two mounts in some cases. Uh, go ahead and give me an initiative roll, and let's see where you guys are going to end up going. I have a silly mosquito floating around my face. Why is that happening? I only was I doing that as well. Uh, I wasn't leaving. He's the same as me. I rolled a seven, guys. <laughs> Why should I, I roll a five? I rolled a I also rolled a seven. Your dexterity is terrible. <laughs> I only get a plus one. Do my initiative. Even worse than mine. Okay, let's see. 
Let's see. It's a 12. <laughs> okay. Say again, Katesh, you got how much? Seven. Seven, okay. Oriana. Seven! Seven, my, seven club, whatever. Okay. Seven oh, also, mind. before I forget, I did some reading, and if your mount takes the disengage action, then you don't suffer of the hag of opportunity. Okay. So what? Only the mount does? The future. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, so, okay. wait, so nobody he takes does. the hag of opportunity? Yeah. Uh huh. There's no attack of opportunity if the mount disengages. That's we sure okay. just do. Okay, uh, Audrey, what's your twelve? Twelve. Okay. So you could punch and smash, and then have your steed retreat. Yeah, but then my the steed could not attack, so that you can still attack, I guess. Oh, the enemies roll poorly. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Good work, enemies. That means Kyrath is going first with his sad little twelve. No, the guard is. No, probably not. Well, that's fine too, as long as it's not the enemy. <laughs> Okay, so they're running. Okay. All the way up out there. What are my anti running spells? Okay, that brings me to your turn. Like, Audrey. do you have grease? Go for it. Let's put some. No, on but I do have my hold, my Maximilian's Earth and Grasp spell. Oh, that's a pretty good one. That's a good one. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This would be a perfect grease situation, though. It would. But Grease is limited, and since I only have a limited number of spells I can have, I yeah. don't really take Grease. Mm -hmm. I can cast Darkness on something they're holding. <laughs> Unfortunately, my spell is only graph is a single target, so I wouldn't be able to grant everybody just one person. Hey, if we find the guy with the sword, let me know. I can hold him. Oh no, it only works on things I'm holding or aren't being held. Dang it. Or it's a, or it's a point in space. So pick a point in space in front of them. And they're running towards the darkness. It's a second level spell, though. I feel like I, I have I have two second level spells left. Either way, it is your turn. You may carry Oriana wherever you so desire. Okay. And this is the same day as our previous adventure, right? Uh, no. Although I guess I didn't use Wild Chase. Nothing crazy happened in the last yeah, we got a full. No, we got a full, got a full day's rest. rest. Yeah. The Hero's Feast should not be active just... on you, but yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay, so... 80... feet is... 5... What's how many squares is that? 16 squares? <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Should be able. Uh, yeah, that should be about right. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. This would have actually probably been a good situation for the Allosaurus because I could have uh, run one hundred and twenty feet <laughs> instead of eighty. We're all Wait, your speed is only 40? Okay. Your speed is only 40? Dude, I'm a bear! I'm slow! <laughs> Dude, that's grizzly like, bears aren't that's that That's only slow. 5 feet well, more than I can run on my own! You got me 5 feet more than I could have been gotten on my yeah, own. Yeah, bear, grizzly bears can go Yeah, but you can, minutes. now you have your full turns. So you can attack. D&D rules, D&D rules. <laughs> not, my, not mine, not mine. Yeah, I know. So, I know, uh, I'm all, I know. <laughs> as, as you guys get closer, you do hear the guard yell out, STOP! Like that, so don't do anything, guys. You Probably never know. Not. What if it does do something? Then we would feel really dumb if we didn't even try Oriana, that. Oriana, it is your turn. Okay. I'm also gonna do so much. I... I don't know. 
you are 50, uh, 50 feet away from them right now. Give or take. It looks to be about 50 Well, feet. that leaves about one option. Show Firebolt! <laughs> which one? Uh, can I see which one has the sword or if any of them have anything interesting? Wait, so we're just attacking them? They haven't done anything. We're just assuming it's these people. Why are we shooting Firebolts at them? <laughs> I don't perception. have any other... I don't have anything else to do! Make a perception oh. check as you come running in. Uh, be, uh, be aware of your passive. Uh, in this case, I'm not going to let you roll below your passive. Your okay, so whatever it is, your passive. I definitely rolled below my passive. Yeah. Uh, my passive perception is seven, so you're close. Passive perceptions are twelve. Okay, uh, twelve. Uh, they're carrying weapons. They got seventeen. Look, they're carrying weapons. Clearly, it means we have to fire bolt them. Weapons, they're kind of co covered in uh, uh, kind of a black robes, but they do have, uh, they are thrown back over their shoulders, showcasing the uh, Scarlet Crusade colors and emblem. Uh, Audric, uh, you can tell that they look like bad people. They look like bad people. As, as bad people that fully authorizes us to unleash as, as a bear. You can tell these people have probably been guilty of several murders, uh, or at least uh, killings, uh, within the recent time. Probably Ooh, weak. Oh, you like dead people. Oh, my. <laughs> okay. I told you they were wackadoodles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're going to go firebolts. Okay. Which one? Mm, closest one to me. Uh, okay, that would be that one. That would be this one. Go ahead. That's gonna be... 22. 22? Okay, that will hit. Cool. Go ahead and roll your damage. Okay. Cause eyes get to use two D ten now. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for max damage. <gasps> Twenty points. It'll be glorious. <laughs> it'll also be very oh, there. rare. I know. That's why I'm okay. saying I'm waiting for it. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Uh, as you release the spell, uh, the firebolt spell and launch it out, it seems to hit this uh, particular guy. Um, it punches into the back of his cloak, and you can tell you hit. And he turns and looks at you. I have something furry at my feet. Okay. All right. Anything else? Yeah. It's my my variant of that one. Uh, no okay. hate, bro. I just was helping the guard. Okay. Um. Nope. Because I don't think. Yeah, it's not a reaction. So no. Okay, Katesh, okay. it is your turn. Katesh, it is your turn. And I got tilted sideways. Yeah. Well, that's probably probably that works. Oh, oh it's because I tried to set it up. Oh, it's his shield. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just put myself. I'll just go here. So you can okay. Back where he was. There you go. So apparently, a bear can run almost as fast as a raptor. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Should be. Uh. Well, you were just complaining that bears were slow, and now you're complaining that they can run almost as fast as a raptor. Which one is yes, I'm saying that speed in this game is nerfed for animals. Anyway, fun point. Uh... Uh... 
Uh, let's see. Am I within 30 feet? How close am I? Darn it, I can't do it in front of him. He's going to cast Minor Illusion in front of him and make it look like another guard was in front of him. <laughs> I'm okay. slightly out of range for that, though. That. Sorcery. Yeah, I can't. I can only cast it 30 feet, so I can't do that. Uh, the only thing I can do is Crown of Madness, but that's a second level spell I'm going to save. I'm going to hang on to that. So, uh, I guess that's all, I'm, that's all I'm doing. I'm just running. That's all I got. You don't have any ranged weapons? <laughs> what kind of paladin has ranged weapons? I, I would, if I was playing a uh, I would have... Bow I have arrow. a long sword. Bow and arrow. arrow? What the hell is don't use bow and arrow? Why not? Knights use bow and arrow. Because they use shields. Because they're sh they use shields. Why can't well, they I'm, use I'm, you could have a javelin. Well, I'm, yeah, well, I'm trained to use shields, I so I I was meant to use a long sword. I have a long sword, but that is not throwable, so. You could throw it. What do you mean? Anything is throwable. <laughs> yeah, it is. Throw the okay. sword into the guy. I won't. Oh wait, 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 wait! There is something I can do. I can use my goblin whistle. Oh <gasps> yes! Okay, I'm gonna blow my goblin whistle. I forgot about that. Okay. My charisma is 17, so they're gonna obey my commands. Oh yeah. All right, 2d6 plus three goblins. That's a lot of goblins. Let's do this, folks. Yeah, this, I don't understand this. Seems very OP. <laughs> Well, goblins are lame, so it's just. Are you complaining that we're OP? Stop talking before he gets nerfed. Please stop. Okay. I can only use it. I can use it only once every three days, so this is just fun. So I'm gonna do it. It's once every three days. It's not once every long rest. So, but okay. So that is ten goblins. Take a terrible waste of it. Ten Okay, I forgot about um, that. But they follow you for three days, or they die. So, oh, or till they die. Two. So they actually last for the full duration of the. the <laughs> I'm just gonna have a bunch of cowards following me. And then we'll I'll die. Make, we'll just put makeup on them and tell everybody they're your cousins. <laughs> yeah, so like that. That'll work. That'll work. I, they're about to say hi. The gnome takes satisfaction in being able to can tell goblins what to do, okay? Okay. Goblins and, suck. You know, this, World of Warcraft goblins aren't necessarily evil. Like they run. No, but the correct. gnomes. Yes, but 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 the gnomes don't like goblins. So. Correct. Well, no. So we're not going to know we're gone anytime soon. Uh, maybe. <laughs> you can go anywhere if you want. Go anywhere. I I don't feel the need to go to Nomergon, unless we get some like really awesome tech gear stuff. Like a catapult, or like a siege engine, or something really cool. A flying boat. We don't have a place to put. Okay. Bag a really awesome version of a bag of holding. Let me resize them because they are not up to scale yet. Uh, they're not loading in for me, so they are white spheres. <laughs> it says loading zero out of ten. <laughs> yep, you're at zero percent, which is kind of funny. I see, I see white spheres. <laughs> Go, my Thank goblin you. horns. Yep. Okay. It, yeah, I put them behind the party so I can mess with them and adjust. Make sure they're the right size. Yeah, that's about the right size. Okay, so you pull this small little wooden thing out of uh, out of your pouch, and looking at it, you go, "Hey, might as well," and blow on it, and you get ten goblins to assist you and I unselected everything why so Oriana you hear this this high pitched wail of a goblin scream and right in front of you and Audrey ten individual goblins appear Stop them from escaping! <laughs> How do they appear? Do they appear in like a puff of smoke or like a flash of light, or are they just materialize instantaneously? Uh, 
this would be up to the uh, summoner's choosing. So, either a flash of light pierces down out of the heavens, or whatever he wants. Yeah, I'm going with be like beam from the like. I'm going with sky beam. Sky beam sounds awesome. Okay, uh, Audric, you do uh, you do see the the beam of light from uh, from the heavens just kind of burst forth in this cloudless sky. It looks cool, and these goblins just start appearing as the light fades. So the light gives birth to goblins now. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, around them, beating down goblins. Okay. They stole something. We think. We're not sure though. But stop them. <laughs> they follow your commands all the way. Okay. So I'm just pulling an Audrey's ear like, What is the light is happening? <laughs> <laughs> let, let me read the wording on that item real quick. See when they go. Because uh, that could be. Doesn't. I think they roll their own initiative. Because it doesn't say they go on my turn, it just says they follow my command. They obey my commands, but I think they have their own turn. Let me see. It doesn't say in the description of the item itself. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, so they're going to go on your turn. Uh, you just summoned them, so they do get their turn. Uh, the standard goblin. Okay, time to find standard goblin. This is weird in a Warcraft setting. I'm just gonna be totally real. <laughs> it kind of is. They all start bickering about who gets what uh, cut of pay, and start talking about money. Uh, but you get the feeling they are following your commands, but they're trying to do what they want. Okay, where is? Yeah, it's kind of like, like blowing a whistle of gnomes. Like, you kind of feel bad because you kind of sent me it. <laughs> but not like the goblins. Okay. Goblins! Goblins, goblins, what, goblins. What's the difference between what are D&D goblins like? Are they not sentient? Oh, uh, they are goblins sentient, are but they're considered neutral evil. Okay, yeah. that's their stat. Okay. So we're just supposed to be like, oh, that's fine. We can enslave you because you're neutral evil. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of spells that do that. Like, Crown of Madness and stuff. But it doesn't only work on neutral evil people. Yeah, but, but goblins eat children, so I feel like it's okay. Well, for the right price, they will. At least in World of Warcraft, right? Okay, so. so I'm going to try and... I mean, if they can't get in range, I'm just going to have them... Can they, can they actually surround them if they use their movement and standard action? That's movement. That's 30 feet. They can't I think that the goblins you summon are happy One that can. they're alive now. Like, wow, so we don't exist. Attack. Now we exist. They're gonna go right. away. Uh, I'm just going to have them... I think I'm just going to have them surround them so they have to go through them in order to, to keep running. Because I want to... I'm trying to slow them down so we can figure out if they have the weapon. And so I'll just shout like... If you have the sword, stop. Or if you don't have the sword, also stop. Because we don't need to fight. Yes, that's a great command. If you have the sword, stop. Also, if you don't have the sword, also stop. So we don't accidentally kill you. We will kill you. <laughs> if you're you shouting stop. this as you're, friend, as you're on the rafter. <laughs> yes. Benedict is hissing. He is happy. He's like, we might get to kill some people today. Yes, I didn't miss out on all the fun. Hiss. Yeah, like not a, like a cat hiss, but like a dinosaur hiss. Okay. okay. One of them does get an attack because he thirty did bring him with their striking range. Let's see what's up. <laughs> yes! My goblin hide! <laughs> he would be a hero among my people. Okay. 
Okay, it's uh, that plus two. We rolled a five for damage. Okay. Uh, so this one particular goblin who got close enough, who was ended up being summoned right in the front of the horde, runs up and is like, ah, poof, and hits the knight in the in the knee, and the knight looks down and goes, what? And you see the goblin turn around and look at you. I did good, boss. I did good. <laughs> Thumbs up while holding the hammer. <laughs> And everybody else uh, files in around them, and you do hear, I wonder how much the pay is for this fight. Well, it better be pretty good. I've got to, I've got to get home to my family eventually. And they start bickering and arguing about money and such. Okay. Is that your turn, Katesh? Uh, it's all I got. Yep, that's what I got. And that was a turn. <laughs> okay. Uh... This one particular uh, crusader uh, turns and touches uh, the knight who's been attacked, and he casts Cure Wounds at, at least first level. For one hit point. Yes! Nobody gets to do Cure Wounds except me. I have to. At least he's got more. I'm better okay. at it. And that is a action. Okay. And then he hey, will. Where was that NPC? Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to open up yeah. more monster manuals. Okay. Okay. Uh, that one priest will also summon. Uh, wrong button. Will summon a spiritual weapon. Hey, that's my move. I don't like this uh... person. <laughs> She's like, cure wounds, spiritual weapon, what is happening right now? Evil double gang. <laughs> Clearly these are spells that only I have access to. Pause. <laughs> hey, wait, where did all my weapons go? No, let's not look at uh, That's where it is. There, there. Oh, that looks good. Summons out this giant spiritual weapon uh, of a sword that sits beneath, or stands beneath the uh, goblin, if the sword will stand, and he will make his attack roll. Just five. Really? Okay. Uh, so the spiritual weapon materializes and then takes a swing at the goblin right in front of it and misses. Uh, <laughs> You're going to be like, and decapitates the goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Um, that's that one. He tried to and the goblin just went. Um, what else do they have? Let's see here. And then that one appears to be done. <laughs> I think I'm going to do that one. Uh, 
Where is it? 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 One more page. There we go. There we go. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay. The gentleman in the back uh, moves his hands in a uh, a very clerical motion. Uh, Oriana, you kind of have an idea of what this is. Uh, and after he finishes casting the spell, you see uh, it is spirit guardians. Does a clerical motion look like rolling up your sleeves so you don't get ink on them? And you're like, I am ready to take these notes. I have my pet, I shall now go. Oh. Wow. I shall write into the fiction. It's 15 foot, so it's just a slender. Are we paying attention? We know who's casting these spells, right? Watching them? Uh, yeah, you can see them watching. You just said that you see the clerical motion of someone doing it. Well, I just. I want to know which one to go for. I don't have any spells. I need any spell. I need to that fireball. Uh, it doesn't have a 15-foot radius, really? Okay. Do so. you get fireball even though I thought that was a wizard thing? Let's go 20 foot. And just say, a I will find a way. Okay. So. <laughs> Kyrak, you should know about me by now. If there's a way to get something I want, I will find it. Like, look at how multi class character. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can just take a class in Wizard and then get there. That's true. Oh, okay. Or I can beat. Uh, Oriana, or Zeri, um, remind me again Spirit Guardians uh, starts damage on when you first cast the spell or on the next turn. What is Spirit Guardians? I've never even heard of that. Mm, I feel like it's when you cast this spot, but I don't exactly know that. Okay. I will look it up to all for you. Okay, uh, I have it in the, uh, the player handbook right now. A failed save. Affected creature speeds have. When a creature enters this area for the first time uh, on a turn or starts its turn there. Yeah. Well, that sounds like it kicks in when it's the goblin's turn. Yeah, that's what it sounded like. Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, creatures, it gets to designate who it is, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So... Do, 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 do. There it is. Can I change your color? Okay, uh, he gets done casting his spell, and that seems to be about it. Uh, the other two armor-clad gentlemen, uh, as they turn, they look at everything in front of them. The newly uh, arrived goblins, and they lift up their swords and take a swing. Where in the world does this stats go? I just had it. There it is. Uh... Okay. Oh, that's a sad roll on the crit. Uh, da 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 da. So that'll be. Okay, so that one, that one is dead. Um, and 
And that one is dead. So the farthest knight uh, lifts up his sword and takes his swing and slays the goblin in front of him and the goblin next to him. The knight that has been injured picks up his sword as well and goes to swing in. What do these guardians look like? Uh, these particular guardians, um, they appear to be uh, almost fey in nature, uh, almost like fairies. Uh, fairies of the light, but they just uh, they kind of glow in that situation. Uh, I was the highest. Okay. Uh, the second knight takes a swing and seems to be flustered because of all the uh, uh, because of all the goblins that he's now facing. He seems to have been shaken just a little. One, two, three, four. All right. Uh, that brings it to the guard's turn, who is now looking in awe at the goblins and is kind of stuck going. Oh, and flat lines. He he doesn't know what to do right now. Okay. All right, Arthur, I mean, it is I now your turn. Don't do okay, so what is going on? What do I? What happened with that spiritual guardian or whatever thing? That the spiritual guardian. That's dangerous. Um, you can see. You said I. You said that I'm familiar with it, right? Oriana, you are familiar with it because it is a cler uh, it is clerical in nature. Do you want me to just say it then from a character perspective? If you want to, that's fine. Because uh, because if you're speaking, it's a free action, right? So yeah. I'll, I'll just, if I see that when I see that I'm just like. Uh, Audrey, don't get near those things! And where are those things on the map? You can see, like, look, look, if you look up, like, at the top, you can, he's got it all. Yeah, I've down. got a 20 Wait, you said those it's things. It's a, is it, it sounded like it's like, it's just like, like a moonbeam or something. It's kind no, of, oh, that's like the things little, that are fays. They look like little fairies. Yeah, like they fae look fairies. like little fairies. Okay, but so it's impossible for me to attack? You can go up there and attack. Yeah, Oriana just said to stay away. <laughs> it's up to you. I, I you can go up and attack if you so desire. I recommend we, you know, attack from a distance. Well, we just have to disrupt the concentration of whoever is doing it, then I can. Or I can just cast Crown of Madness on him. Yes. Uh, and... We'll just run up here. Oh, I look very scary. Um, and <laughs> I guess I will. Uh, let's see, consult my action list. What is, it? is there like a fight defensively or something? Yeah, I'm gonna take the dodge action, I guess. Okay. Alright, that brings it to brings us to your turn, Zeri. Or Oriana. What you gonna do? So I can see which one is casting the spell, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh has he taken damage? No. Uh, 
That will hit. Uh, 18 points of damage. Yes! That one. Okay, 18? 18. Oh, wait, never mind. That was 2d12s. I just did the math and I was like, that's impossible. Okay. <laughs> My bad, I'll go reroll. That's not true. That's impossible. It's impossible. <laughs> Five points of fire damage, sadly. Okay. <laughs> I was kind of I was like, no, no crash. Tabletop simulator is just crashing on me. Show that sun. Um, oh, fun. Okay. Uh, continue on with my then. Then, then I want to I want to cast. Um, I want to cast spiritual weapon. I want okay. to cast it in front of the caster. In front of the caster? Yeah, basically, so that he can't run away from it. So like, in his face. Um, right now, that's being filled. That's a yeah, but it hovers. Uh, okay. I'll put it right there for for now. But you, uh, it is within striking distance. Okay, Kyler, I need you to make a one d eight roll for me. A one d eight. Why am, what? Why am I making a roll? Because my tabletop crashed. Because she's attacking you. To hit first. Oh well, okay. Roll a, roll a d20 first. <laughs> it auto hits. I rolled a twelve. I'm assuming that gets to really like a nineteen or something ludicrous. Uh, it gets twenty. Yeah, that will hit. It's twelve plus nine, so twenty. Twenty-one. Okay. I rolled a three for the damage. So what bonus is that? Does it get a bonus to that, or is it just straight up three damage? Uh, plus four, so seven. Spiritual weapon doesn't get added damage at. He's got a roll to maintain concentration. No, I rolled. I rolled a d4. It's plus four, so it's seven damage plus the damage. Roll, so seven plus five is thirteen points of damage. Thirteen. Yeah. Total. He took 13 points total in the whole round. Okay. Well, it's either half the damage taken or 10 is the DT. Yeah. So he made this. He made the save. So 13 points of damage. Brings him down to that much. Okay. Okay. Uh, as your spiritual weapon slices down into him. Oh, darn! I forgot about that. Oh yeah, don't I have like a thing that happens sometimes? Yes, but it doesn't take effect this time. Super, super, super rarely. Yeah, it doesn't take effect this time. Uh, but yes, as it carves down into him, uh, it, it seems to unnerve him a bit, uh, and he is looking heavily damaged. Uh, but he just grits his teeth and s maintains the spell, uh, the spell's concentration, and it is still going. Uh, is that your turn? Katesh. Okay, Katesh, it is now your turn and the Goblin's Katesh. turn. Uh, oh. before, right. Oh, wait, 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 uh, actually. No, wait. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. So that Audric, so that Audric can move around. Jolly! So Audric can move around. I, I, I hop on Audric now. Hop on the Thank ground. You. Okay. Hop on the ground. Okay. Just like kapoop. Okay. Kapoop. Okay. You're now on the ground. Yeah. Next to Audrey. Okay. okay. Uh, Katesh, go ahead and start. And after you get done with yours, I need you to make 
a bunch of saving throws. So the way I'm saying she wants me to run into the death field area, even though she told me not to, she just doesn't want to be on me when I do run into the death field. That's what happened here. I see nothing. Okay, uh, well, Benedict can run, get me in there. Okay. Um, so that means Benedict and I would have to make a saving throw as we entered, correct? Yes. You need to make a, uh, you need to make right. a wisdom saving throw. Or make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, oh. Um, this is a wisdom against magic, correct? Yes. Ooh, I have advantage. Booyah, paladin style. <laughs> Twelve... That's a 15. I rolled a 15. Oh, okay. And Benedict has to roll... What's his wisdom modifier? Oh, he has a plus one to his wisdom. What do you know? Oh, oh, he rolled a 20. Not a nat 20, but he rolled a 20. Okay, so on a successful t- save, you guys take half damage. So, total of 19, you guys take half of that, 9 damage. Yeah. Yeah, both of you take 9 damage. Alright, so, um, so that's Benedict. Um, I am going to, um, use the Divine Favor off of my Radiance, uh, off of Path of Radiance, just to give me an extra d4 of damage. Uh... And well, I'm gonna I'm gonna attack him. I'm flanking with the goblin, right? So I have advantage on this. Uh, that's not flanking. That's would be oh, yeah, right, tactics. Yeah. All right, I rolled a twenty. Does that hit him? That will hit. Cool story. Uh, so that does. Uh, And we'll throw on um, my um, awesome, uh, <clears throat> my awesome other um, do extra two d eight radiant damage because why not? You only live once, so I'm gonna okay. do that. Uh, so that's gonna be twelve plus five, seventeen, nineteen damage. Oh, okay. Uh, you pick your mace up and swing it down on this particular. Uh, this particular uh, priest and the impact is such that uh, the uh, holy light that sparks from where the hammer connects it just crumples the body straight down uh, Benedict is still up right yeah he's still up okay still alive okay all right so, um, and then I'm gonna use my second attack to attack the other mage looking guy Just beat down the one with the concentration. No, he's he, done. He did beat down the one with the He's done. <laughs> the only he thing is them? The, uh, the goblins still have to make their save, but they don't have anything else beyond that. Alright, I rolled a 15 on my next attack. 15? Uh, da, 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 that will hit. Alright, I'm not doing anything fancy on this one, so just my base damage. Yes, I can only do it once per round. Sad face. Ooh, that's twelve damage though. Oh, that's pretty good. Twelve damage on that one. And all right, so the, how many saving throws do I need to make for the goblins? Uh, all but one of them that are left. One, two, three, four. Five, six. I want to say one, two, three, four. That's oh, the red hand spot. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven saves. All right. Um, what's their wisdom? <laughs> Do I even want to know? No. Well, three of them rolled above a fifteen. 
outright. I don't know what the DC is, but they rolled 16, 17, 18. There, there's a whole list of them. So I've got a 6, okay. an 8, a 9, 13, a 16, 17, and an 18. 1, 2, 3 goblins uh, succeed. They will take half damage. And the other ones die horribly. The dead. other ones take full damage of the 3d8 that I'm going to roll right now. Death and despair is what they're going to take. Pretty... 10. Okay. Oh! Yeah. That's so much better than the damage roll that me and Benedict took. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, the three who succeeded live. Uh, I want you to go ahead and pick out three of them randomly. Uh, Whichever one. Pick out your three favorites. Yeah, pick out your three favorites. Uh, I guess the one that's the. I guess the one here, uh, the one here, and the one here. Okay. Other ones burn up as the fairies start chewing into them and doing a lot of damage to them. The other three are looking severely hurt. Are they piranha fairies? You don't know because they disappeared. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Yep, that's how many you should have. Okay. Okay. Alright. Now, what command do you wish them to do? Because they're still following the surround command. Uh, well, I'm just gonna go with the... Well, I thought maybe we could surround them and talk peaceably, but then they dropped that spell, so I'm feeling <laughs> fairly hostile, and I don't really like them to begin with, so we're going, uh, you had your chance. Get them! Avenge your brethren! <laughs> what is vengeance? Can you eat it? Can you sell it? Oh, we can sell vengeance! 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 Let's sell it! Three copper apiece! Okay, so... They're gonna attack the priest. Let me make sure they don't get multiple attacks. Nope, they just get the one. So, one attack on the priest. Or one yeah, set stabby. of attacks. Yeah, stabby, stabby. They will miss. Oh, come on! <laughs> they seem to be overcome with this idea of getting more wealth by selling vengeance, and they're like. Ooh! and seem to be counting their money just a little bit too much and start stabbing and poking and miss and completely. And get two more attacks and then we'll go after the knight. One will miss. I think. Plus, oh yeah, one will miss. Uh, the other one will hit. And how much is it? Tiny amounts of damage. Yeah, it's not necessarily the best, but it's better than nothing. 1d6. Plus 2. Bye bye, Clown. Oh, 7 damage! He looks to have taken this whole thing of vengeance and hey. said, Ah! He's promoted! I'm gonna summon him back next time. He's promoted. <laughs> <laughs> Give and that to to get that guy with some armor. Yep. He seems to stab the knight fairly well. For a short sword going up against plate, it doesn't do too much damage, but it does pretty good amount of damage for the goblin. And he's like, Yay! I did good boss! Thumbs up. <laughs> what did he do? I missed it. The goblin stabbed one of uh, the already injured knight. Okay. That's all. Wow, he competently stabbed someone and he gets one, super... One of them did, yes. Radius. Look, one of them I did thought, like, something. He That's got really impressive. Uh, no, he just he, he did something and it was impressive. Okay. Uh, based on that... You summon ten goblins every time, every time you find one that can hit something. And you're like, okay, you're part of the super squad. And then I'll summon yep. the full okay. super squad next time. Uh, exactly. So that works. Really. Now it's the priest's turn. He summons spiritual guardian as well. Uh, so, on y'all's turn. 
Ooh, that gets everybody but Oriana right now. Uh, more saving throws? What? <laughs> what is that? Logic. There is going to be... The knight who is damaged is a little miffed, and he's going to start swinging at the goblins near him. First attack, and second... Oh. Ooh. Depends on the damage. I need someone to kill that goblin that's standing in the way where the priest is. <laughs> no, you can attack sideways, remember? Yeah, yeah, you know. Know. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, you're already in the stupid now, so you may as well the whole person in the stupid. As long as I can attack that. Yep, that will finish him. Uh, oh, no, wait. That's the goblin who escaped. Ooh, he took six damage. He's hurting bad. Ooh. Uh, the knight comes down. One, hit, one HP. And the second attack is going to hit him. And that second goblin attack. is down. Yeah. Oh. The knights get two attacks. That one knight... Frustrated by missing everything is like forget it and just goes all out on this one goblin and bifurcates him. Uh, the next knight rolls against the goblin next to him. Caddy corner. Ow. Okay. This is gonna stick. Yeah, he did. Oh, he did. Uh, he swings once and carves that goblin in half. Uh, it seems like he put a little bit more righteous indignation against that and just went straight out after him. And then he moves next to you, Katesh. And is now going to swing at you. Uh, which is going to be a nope. <laughs> that is a definite nope. Yeah. Uh, it's only a plus five, so yeah, it's a twelve. So he swings and misses as you're uh, on your trusty steed, kind of chuckling, going, "Yep, sorry, bro." All right, that spiritual sword is going to move over and take a swing at you. However, Kadesh, I forgot about that. There is a spiritual weapon on the field. No, there's only mine. There is another one, which is fun. No, well, he did say there is mine. a spiritual weapon on the field, so there's that doesn't clash with your statement. It's only, only mine. Okay. Where was, that's why that wasn't right. Okay, there it is. Just five to hit. So the spiritual weapon takes a swing at you, Katesh. Let's see what happens. Nope. Nope. Uh, it comes down trying to get a... Oh, wait. No. Because it's not a creature. So he doesn't get advantage. The spiritual weapon does not get advantage. Uh, he takes a swing and misses you. You seem to hear the spiritual weapon moving. And it's like, nope. I know that's there. Alright. It is now the guard's turn. Who is now slowly walking forward. Kind of going, please stop. You're all under arrest. Except for... You and you with the mace. Well, <laughs> it seems to be kind of dumbfounded. All right, so that brings us to your turn, Audric. Wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. Yep. Okay, here we go. Over 9,000. What is it like alerting his other fellow guardsmen that dependents are here? He's just standing yeah. there, man. Dang it. Only Bro, do you not have you don't have a saving advantage? Wait, 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 wait. I think I have a thing that actually I have an aura or something that lets people. Wait, I thought okay. there was something I had where people could reroll things. Wait, I thought I had a yeah, from leveling up last time. No, no, it was a paladin thing. Um, I thought there was a, I thought there was a paladin thing that I got this. Yeah, I know what you're. Aura of protection. While you are conscious, you grant oh, all friendly creatures, including you, within 10 feet. Oh, I forgot. A plus 3 bonus to all saving throws. Okay, so. Or of protection. So within 10 feet. He's Ooh. not within 10 feet, so that doesn't work. I and forgot. Also, so it's, been a 12. it's only within 10 feet of me. Uh, it would have made it a 12. You still would have failed. 
You take 11 damage, now you can start. Oh, only 11 damage? Okay. Yeah, me and Ben, I was... Took the massive amount of damage we took the first time. Okay. I'm gonna come over here... And I am going to... Let's see here... I'm gonna do my bite attack. On the guy who's the priest guy who's got the field of death. Ooh, does he get flanking bonus on the opposite side of him? Uh, Hopefully I do. For, not for dying. Diagonal. That's the weird what? thing about diagonal. It just doesn't. What? Okay, uh, I'll give it to you anyway. I got Go an 11 then. I'll give it to you. Go for it. Uh, go for it. I got... Oh, that's much better. 25. <laughs> okay, that will hit. Okay. 10 damage. Okay, 10 damage? Yeah. Then I will do a claw attack. Don't you actually have to make an attack roll, Ooh. sir? That was my attack roll. That will actually hit. Sweet. 13 hits. Yep. Fine. That'll be 11 damage. Okay. How would you like to finish him off? Um. Well, I guess that was my claw attack, so I guess I'll just, like, claw him right across the face. We're taking no prisoners. I like this. Okay. Uh, okay. My character is pleased with this. He doesn't uh, have to speak. As you reach up to swing uh, your giant bear paw, just coming at this particular priest, uh, you see the horror in his eyes as all of a sudden the shadow of the hand goes over his face and he is down. We'll need everybody to still make a saving throw because it starts on there, it finishes up at the turn because it turns. Except for Oriana, but that's it. Okay. Anything else? But he's not there to maintain concentration on it. Yeah, but it still happens at the start of your turn. Wait, what about my turn? But it's not there. That's because each, each uh, round is considered uh, happening at the same time. That's why. It's just the initiative order just depends on who goes first. But either way, he's he's dead. Uh, Audric, is there anything else you wish to do? No, that's it. Okay. Uh, that still doesn't make sense. Oh well, uh, Katesh, go ahead. It's your turn. Don't worry about it. Or no, sorry, Oriana's turn. Got two. Oriana's turn. Oriana's turn. Do what you're gonna do. You have two knights before or in front of you who are facing off against a bear. Your spiritual weapon is close to one of them, and Katesh, and then there's a couple of goblins. Wait, is there a couple of just yeah, there's, there's two yeah, both casters are down. Uh, the two goblins seem to be taking bets as to who's gonna kill more, the bear or the paladin. Is one of them damaged? Uh, yeah, they, uh, they both are, yeah. Okay. I'll make an attack against the, I'm gonna use Tool the Dead on the one, uh, that's attacking Odric. Okay, that one is damaged. The, oh, I thought you meant the, uh, goblins. Uh, one knight no, no, no. is damaged, and uh, that's the one you're attacking. Okay. Uh, so. he has to make it with some saving throw of 15. Of what? 15. Okay. Uh, okay, so... Uh, he rolled a 16. Take that, that's so stupid. Okay, well, yeah, it's lame, so I did nothing. And then with my spiritual weapon, the one that it's close to, it'll uh, make a second damage. Okay.
go ahead, make your attack roll. That's uh, plus nine, so that'll hit. Yep, that will hit. Oh, sorry. No, it's only the... Sorry, I rolled it twice. It's only the first one that counts. Uh, that's going to be 12 points of damage. Okay. 12 points uh, of damage. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to... One, two, three, four... No, no, I want to move, I want to move, I want to move there. That's okay. Right. That's right. Okay. Then I am done. Okay. Kitesh, now it's your turn. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to make you make a save. It doesn't make sense. I can if you want me to. Yeah, that's all right. All right. Uh, well, uh, I guess sense. I'll have. I guess I'll uh, I'll be uh, attacking this bloke uh, with uh, that's a twenty-three. <laughs> that will hit. So. so that's. 14 points of damage. Okay. Um, and is he still alive? I'm trying to. I want to actually leave this one conscious, but I don't want to kill this one. I just want to knock him out. Okay. Um, is uh, he down or is he still standing? That was 14 points of damage. Let's see. He's still standing, by the way. Alright, I guess I'll hit him again then. Okay. Or at least I'll attempt to hit him again. Of course, uh, I rolled a, uh, a, a, a a nine. That will miss. Your first blow comes down, hits him on the shoulder, and he grimaces quite hard as Ugh, that hurt. But your second blow, he manages to dodge and duck out of the way. And Benedict will attempt to slash him, oh, and um, he rolled an eleven. Uh, Benedict. Swings and a miss. Yeah. It seems he uh, catches Benedict's little arm and goes, eh. Kind of tosses the hand aside and says, hey, it looks like he's nonchalantly just dissing your ride. Right. Uh, okay. um, so there's two goblins left still? Yes. You have two. Uh... I guess I'll point to the the one that Audric is fighting and just tell them to kill him. Okay. <laughs> we only keep we only need to keep one of them alive. <laughs> yep. What if he's like, oh, I'm the one that everyone hated, so they never told me anything? Shush okay. you. Be positive. Uh, both of them run up and start swinging at this one knight. Uh, that will miss on both of them, sadly. They both swing and are trying to uh, take bets as to which one hits, and looks like they didn't win this one. Alright. That brings us to their turn. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, yeah. They're both going to look at... Uh, they don't seem to consider the goblins to be a threat, but they do look at you two. Um, Katesh, you're getting two attacks. As the knight in front of you just swings and goes for it. Ooh, you will hit with one of them. That's a 21 to hit. Yep, that'll hit. That is... That is 11 damage to you. As he, one of his blows strikes true with you. 
Right, uh, so I changed my mind about keeping him alive. I'm gonna use my reaction what? and cast Dude. Ultra Rebuke on him. I'll keep the other one alive. I don't care. I'm done with this. I'm mad. They kill all my goblin people. I don't like these people. He's, he's, I'm using Hellas Rebuke on him. So he needs to make a DC 14 so. dex save. A 14 dex? How do you have Hellas Rebuke? Oh, awesome. Well, that's a no. Alright, so he's gonna take 3d10. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do what? Nah, that seems expensive. Is it only at second level? I oh, no, I can do it at first level. I'll do it at first level. So, okay. 2d10. 2d10 is what he's going to take. So, I'm gonna roll like 3 damage. Pretty sad. Oh, 12, 12 damage. damage. 12 fire damage. Alright. Uh, as he strikes you with that first blow, uh, you seem to recoil back and then lash out with your gnomish uh, paladin abilities. And it strikes at him and you see almost a, a hint of recognition in his eyes as he looks at you. And it's almost like he knows your name. Or he's like he's trying to place your name or something. And he goes... Light Pierce? And then the other knight swings at you, Kate or uh, Audric. Okay. One is a complete miss, the other one is a five, <coughs> uh, sixteen. I will hit. Okay. Yeah, the first one was like a six, but the second one was a twenty. Uh, 2d6. Uh, you take 10 damage as one of his blows strikes true with you and he just kind of snarls at you and says, I'm not giving up to a bear. Alright. That leaves it to the guard's turn or brings us to the guard's turn who just kind of keeps moving forward. Please stop I'm fighting. I need to take one of you in the question for questioning. Preferably all of you. Help! More guards, please. And that is his turn. It is now your turn, Audric. Okay, I guess I will attack the guy that just attacked me. Is he? What happened to the guy that got hellish rebuked? Is that guy still alive? He is still alive. Mm -hmm. He's got. Pl uh, some health. Uh, he's looking rough, though. Uh, this one's. Well, I guess I'll attack my guy who was just attacking me. Okay. Wait. Nope. My camera presets are not behaving. That's 19. Oh, 19 will hit. Six damage. Okay. And then I'll attack again. That is twenty one. That will hit. Four. Seven, five, twelve damage. two good swipes at him and he's still standing but he's looking rough about like what you would expect from somebody going up to fight against a bear <laughs> alright is that the end of your turn yep interestingly enough alright Oriana it's now your turn alright so there's one more left and we're trying to get him two Oh, uh, two more alive, uh, but you want one of them to surrender from the sounds of it. Okay. So. I would like to ask the questions. Okay. Let's say you spent bonus action first, so we're going to have a 
I scratch a weapon, I take another attack at him. Okay. Go ahead and make your melee swing. Oops, that's not a D12. They're D20, that's D12. Uh, 22. 22, that will hit. And you just like that, it's hard for me to miss. And then that's seven points of damage. Seven points, okay. Uh, is he still up? Is he he still is still up. He is winced in pain as your scythe carved into his shoulder, and he's like, Ugh! Which of the two looks more damaged? Uh, the one you just hit. Okay. But barely. Then I will... Okay. Then I will cast Maximilian's Earth and Grasp on him. Okay. He needs to make a... Strength save. 15. Oh, Strength save? Okay. And it technically casts it on the ground below him. Okay. That's a six. Well, that's a failure. Yep. So he is now held there. This is uh, a, a medium hand made from compacted soil rises from rises there and reaches for one creature you can see within five feet of it. Target must okay, so it's failed. On a failed save the other target takes two D six bludgeoning damage. Okay. His hand sprouts up from the ground in front of you, Katesh, and it grabs a hold of this particular gentleman, and... How much Six damage? points of bludgeoning. Six points. Okay. Uh, I it, believe. Hold on. Yeah, six points, and then... I can... And then I can maintain it. Okay. But he is considered to be straight. It reaches up and grabs a hold of his ribs, and then squeezes ever so gently, as much as rocks can squeeze gently. And he seems to sh uh, to cry out in pain as he's looking really hurt. Okay. Is that your turn? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Katesh, it is now your turn. What you gonna yeah, do? Yeah. Uh, um, so he's still... He's still... Well, he's kicking. strange. <laughs> I'm gonna bonk him on the. I'm just gonna like bonk him on the head with my uh, with my with my <laughs> my weapon. Okay, this is. I rolled a, a lot. Of I rolled a. I rolled a uh, twenty-three. Twenty-three. Yeah, that'll hit. And, and that'll do uh, eight points of damage. But I'm trying to make it not lethal, like. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage on restrained targets. Ooh. So yes. you don't want it to be lethal damage. I want to yeah, I want I want him to be unconscious, but you know, not dead. Okay. You raise your mace up and swing it down and you pull it just enough to where it just conks him on the head and he just kind of looks at you glazed and his eyes cross and he goes in the, gra in the grasping hand that's just holding him up right now. Alright, uh, and Benedict's gonna run over here and and attack this other guy. Okay. That we don't need no more. So, <laughs> does he have flanking bonus then? Uh, from this position, not. yes he does. Excellent! Plus five to whatever the roll is. He rolled a 22. That will hit. And he will this. And then roll it is one, two, Oops, no, 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 no. Okay, just forget that. Forget the one, two, uh, forget the one, two, uh, one three, four. Be, it's supposed to be two, not three. Okay. Uh, so that is eight slashing damage. Right. Uh, Benedict comes up and uh, 
catches him really good with a nice kick, and it scratches across uh, the back of his armor. He wasn't expecting that. He just kind of goes, Argh! He's looking very hard. And I guess I'll have to, the goblins um, continue stabby stabbying him. Okay. I still have two of the goblins left. You do. And they, they sit there and start flipping coins, and they're like, Who's gonna hit? Neither, probably. Oh, seriously? <laughs> okay. Uh, the one next to Audrey uh, goes in for a faint and he allows his buddy to get the stab and he's like, I bet on you, buddy! And the goblin who does hit goes, Ah, oh, man! And hits hits the guy and it does, hits the knight. Does a little bit of damage. And the knight is standing there very haggard in breath and is looking really sore really sore uh, very again very haggard and breathing and it's just <sighs> the guard continues moving forward oh I skipped the one guy's turn and he uh, that's okay one guard moves forward and it's like stop please Stop! <laughs> As the one knight looks at you, uh, Audric, and he's like, I hate these goblins, and takes two swings at them. Well, that's just mean. It's so mean. Oh. <laughs> okay, so he clears out one of them, or at least he might. How well he rolls. Nope, he clears out one of them. Uh, the one who lost the bet is kind of like, no! And his head goes flying as he is now dead. You have one goblin left who is like, I win the bet! Yeah, I got money! There's no one to pay him. <laughs> Alright, that brings us to your turn, Audric. Um... Well, I guess... Two guards left, or one guard left, uh, who is fighting against that you. That guy looks so haggard. I'm... I am guess, I guess I'll attack, but I'm going to try to swat him with the backside of my paw to knock him out. A big paw. Okay. <laughs> you have advantage. Go ahead. <laughs> I think he didn't need the advantage, but um, I think I think I did need. It. Okay. <laughs> so you wanted to knock him out. Uh huh. Don't roll damage die. <laughs> One hit point. That's why we're doing that. Funny man. <laughs> Your, yeah. your paw just kind of snarl at him for killing that one goblin and he just uppercut his chin and he just goes flop and falls down on the ground in front of Benedict. Alright. You have managed to defeat those four. Uh, let's see. Oh, you guys ended up being there. Okay. Uh, Oriana, give me a perception roll. You bet those. Don't 
notice what's going on. Or you don't notice the thing that I have in. So, that's okay. I All notice right. nothing. Alright. But I know something is happening. You know something, yeah, because the alarms are blaring and such. Uh, you have two gentlemen who are unconscious before you. Um, one goblin who has left, who's kind of mourning his buddy, but and is crying. But he's taking his gold, <laughs> gold out of his pockets and is going through and looting everybody he can. Gotta keep the memory, man. It's the goblin way. Must right. remember. Uh, Ram, right, like, okay, just loot. Uh, we're looking for something, so just don't take anything off of these four guys. But, you know, other goblins, fair game. You say that as he's, like, half pulling out one purse from one of the priests and is kind of eyeing you and just kind of like Shiv us sure, we're looking for something just give us a minute you want me to put this back boss yeah put it back <laughs> uh, he puts it on the priest's forehead and just got eh, and he goes off Starts looting his, right. his brethren. Alright, I'm gonna look for the sword. Sword? Okay. I go pick up that purse. You go pick up what? The, the purse you dropped before. Okay. Do you now have uh, 45 gold? Yes! Um, I'll, wait, um, how many, how many portal, question, how many portals lead out of the city? Are they all in the same spot? Uh, they're all in the same spot, uh, all located there. Uh, they go to Stormwind, uh, Darnassus, here. Stormwind, Darnassus, and Gilneas. Uh, but you do know that when you came out, there was only three of the portals working. Okay. Uh, how close are we to the portals right now? Where are the portals? Uh, right portals? down the block. So we can see all three portals? Uh, you can see the Tower of the Yeah. You can see oh, the portals are located here. I see that description now. Okay. <laughs> Uh, right. Um, I'll just be digging through, looking for the sword with the guard, and I'll turn to Audric and around and be like, "You should guys should guard the portals in case they in case this wasn't the group that did it." Make an investigation check to see what you find. An investigation yeah. check. Yay! That's a great idea, Audric. You should go to the towers. I'll be right there. And then, as I say that, I go and look the other priests, look for gold. Okay. I roll a one. Oh my check. goodness. Oh wow. One. Okay. What's your actual total? How high? How low is it? Uh, I rolled a three. Four total. Okay. Uh, you go digging through uh, everybody's pockets and such, but uh, uh, apparently you're so distracted by the goblin watching you, you can't. Yeah. Find just it. tell the goblin to look for all the shit. That's true. That's true. Alright, now, guess what? Okay, any gold you find on these people? Yours. We're looking for a really special sword. Okay? Oh, I was already looking for gold on the other priest before he said that, so I'm like... Did the goblin eyes you? I'm already looking for the other... Finders, keepers. She got there first. What's she gonna do? And he goes off to the other... Uh, to the other bodies, kind of disappointed. He's like... Silly night elf. Oh, he's spoiling the fun. Taking away my money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like gold and I give him a second priest. Uh, you got about 50 gold. Yeah. And the second priest yeah, netted you about 50 gold. Yes. Okay, well, I guess I'll run off towards the mage tower. Okay. I follow him after I lose all the gold. Okay. Holy moly. Yeah, so the worst heroes ever. Yep. Just on the, for the record. Okay. Wait, why am I the worst hero ever? Oh, I'm talking about the looting corpse person. <laughs> <laughs> Though there's this giant, there's a super awesome sword missing that somebody stole. Wait, hang on a sec while I pilfer all these people's pockets. <laughs> I'm needing gold, man. Like, yes, of course. <laughs> 
this is a polar bear, right? Oh. You're a polar bear, right? Uh huh. Okay. I'm just looking to see where it is on. Okay, three thirty-four. <coughs> see what you have. Okay. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and give me a perception check, Audric, with advantage. Since you're still in bear form. Twenty-two. Okay. That will be high enough. You do catch as you're as you turn around and head towards the mage tower. You do catch the scent of uh, uh, more people who smell like the same ones you just fought. Uh, for some reason, they've still got that a different smell than everyone else. But uh, you do pick up the pines of, Gilne of uh, Silverwood or Silver Pine and uh, Hillsbred on them as they go as it seems like there are some more hidden somewhere. Okay, I guess I will try to follow the scent. Does it seem like the scent is going towards the main shower where I'm going? No, it seems more like it's going towards the docks. Uh, it's kind of behind you and or from where you're talking the city, it is almost to your right. Well, I wish I could talk while I was in bear form. <laughs> I'm, coming, I'm coming behind you. Is she coming behind me? Okay. Well, I'm going to do our little gesture that means use message on me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so like, I finish looting all the bodies, then I start running towards him, and whenever I get catch up to Audric, I see him, like, making motions, and I'm like, ah, message. I go, and, I, and I message him, and I say, what? What did you find? You can reply to this message. <laughs> I think I smell more of them going off towards the docks. Should we head that way or to the, to the top mage tower? I recast message again. Uh, I mean, we should probably head to the docks. But, like, also make sure that they, they haven't gone to the tower. You can reply to this message. Uh, okay, you go to the tower, I guess, and I'll run towards the docks. I recast message. Great! Uh, I'll tell uh, Katesha our plan. You can reply to this message. Okay, sounds good. And then I turn around on like, Katesha and I cast message. Uh... Uh, Audric thinks that some of them are going to the docks. He's headed that way. I'm headed to check up the tower. You should decide what you're going to do. You could be planning this message. Um, I'm gonna follow you. I'll try and recruit some guards. I recast message. I don't know. Was I clear that we're splitting up? Like, you follow us as like, which guys? Nice. You could reply to this message. Docs. Recast message. Great! I'm going to the tower. You can reply to this message. No, oh, but if you smell them going to the docks, they're probably escaping on boat. I mean, these ones weren't heading towards the tower, the main tower. They were walking away from it. Cast message. Good point. You can reply to this message. And then I go up to the tower. I go up to the tower. Okay. <clears throat> Oriana has head off, uh, headed off towards the tower. The lone guard who has been witness to all of this is like, why did why? Okay. Can I have right, one I'm that's gonna... alive? Are they alive? 
There's two, two of them are still breathing. Look, okay, we tried to just slow them down and they ret retaliate with that sort of force. They're clearly up to no good. My friend the druid's on trail of more and they're heading down to the docks. You said they were clothed in red. These people are clothed in red. They're acting suspicious. They attacked us. We are smelling more of them making their way towards the docks. We need to get guards there as soon as possible so we can see if they're actually escaping with what you think was stolen. So, is it the Ashbringer or is it something else? The only news I had was that it was the Sacred Blade. The only Sacred Blade I've heard of recently has been the Ashbringer. Excellent. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to head down there. These two guys are unconscious. You should be good. If other guards show up here, redirect them to the docks. I think I've got someone. Also, keep an eye on the portals because they can get out that way. Too. But that's you. I'm sure you know that because you're a guard. Anyway, good work. I'm sorry about the mess. Thank you. It's and all right. I, turn to the, I tell the goblin, all right, once you're done, once you're done going through these guys' pockets, um, I'm going to need you to stand in front of that mage tower. Anybody else looks dressed like this, scream, like, really, 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 really loudly, okay? And, like, help. I need help. They're trying to escape. Dressed like this, okay? Cut it, boss. And Excellent. Good work. As he's got like four or five pouches of gold in his hands, and he's like, okay. <laughs> I, I, I like, I, I like salute him with my hammer as 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 uh, I get back on, um, <laughs> I get back on Benedict, <laughs> and we run off towards the docks. <laughs> All right, he doesn't seem to have found any notes or anything. Uh, you guys can move uh, two movements. Two sets of movements. So which way are the dots? Where are we going are to? Through the houses. Over here? Yep. Um, is there space to go through over here? Yeah, there's space to go through each of the houses. So you can... Oh, choose. sweet! I can get all the way there! Excellent. Okay. Uh, it's a me, a Mario. As you, uh, as you and uh, Audric, I'm assuming you're still in bear form because you've not been yeah. moved your bear. Well, where? Over here. I to count. Okay, we'll just kind of help for it. That's easier than counting all the squares. Okay, I'll put you right there. Uh, you do see two uh, forms, robed in red, uh, kind of making their way, or not make, kind of, but uh, dashing uh, towards the docks area, uh, almost going off map as it were. There is one dwarf and another one who is uh, a, a uh, priest looking guy who is beside him, and they seem to be booking it. Um, since Benedict's the one running, can I cast Crown of Madness on uh, one of them? Yes, you may. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm gonna do it on the, um, on the dwarf. Okay. Because he's right next to a mage, and I feel like the mage is not prepared for that. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, and I'm more likely to fail my saving throw. So that's gonna be a wisdom saving throw. Uh, wisdom saving throw... Is this a frightened effect or a charm? It's a charm. Okay. So that's a wisdom. Roll low, please. <laughs> I need you to roll low. That's a 14. Yes! That's a, wait, no. No! My wisdom's a 14. No, my favorite. Dang it. I thought it was a 15. No. Yeah. Nothing happens. Oh. Okay, so you reach out uh, with your crown of madness spell and it, concentrate on it, and it doesn't seem to take effect. The dwarf 
turns and looks at you with a raised eyebrow, and then it seems like he's going to continue moving forward. Hey, stop in the name of, of the law. The light. No, the law. I'm a sheriff. The law. <laughs> Not okay. sheriff here, but I'm a sheriff, so I'm going to say it like I'm a cowboy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you command him to stop in the name of the law. All right. Audric, it is your turn. Uh, okay. Kind of going out of order, but that's okay. That'll work. They're running. <laughs> you have a big bear. They're running that direction. Turn the right? bear around. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna try to stand right there. You s <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh boy. What? You don't want me to block their path? Alright, you just need to kill, kill the mage. I vote to murder the mage. That's my vote. Okay. So we these are for sure this they're wearing they're definitely part of the Scarlet Crusade. Uh as you look on them? That was just attacking, so we can definitely attack. Yeah, from the way it looks, yeah. They still smell fishy like death, like they murdered people, so yeah, they do. Do they smell like that? Yep. They still smell like uh, the guys you just fought. Okay, well, the best defense is a preemptive offensive strike, I guess. Murder! <laughs> so I'll attack the mage. Okay, just one second. 17. Uh, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw first. Okay. Uh, am I within six, ten feet of Kabash? Uh, no. No. Dang it, what a good out. is your stupid aura? You're at 20 feet. I now. got 13. Oh, that's so close. Hi. Ty usually goes. Ty goes to save, doesn't it? Yeah, but this one's a, a defensive one, so it's weird. Okay. Uh, I think it works the same as other saves. Is it like one of those yeah. ones where you have disadvantage if you fail? No. No, no, it sounds worse then. <laughs> Misa no like a this. You saw all bombay. Okay, so you do hit. I believe. Check. That was 17 to hit. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, that will hit. Oh wait, did I roll the right dice? Eight damage. Eight damage, okay. Ooh. Okay. Uh, your claw reaches up and hits him really good. Uh, okay. Anything else? Well, I guess nothing bad happened, so I guess I will use my other attack. Okay. Make a wisdom saving throw. Another one? Yep. Do I have to roll every time I make an attack or take the attack action? Uh, anytime you take an, or make an attack. Okay. Or harmful spell. Nineteen. 
that will save. Okay, go ahead. Roll to hit. Also 19. Okay, roll your damage. You 10. 10 damage, okay. There we go. All right. And will that end your turn? Yes. Okay. Oriana, it's now your turn. Uh, over there at the Mage Tower, uh, you don't seem to be seeing anything. Or there's doesn't seem to be anything going on over there. Um, there are more guards uh, coming in from your north. Uh, or from the quote-unquote north of the map. From uh, Coming towards the Mage Tower. Looks like they're answering the call uh, that went out just earlier to kind of come send back up. I can see the portals here. Is there somebody who's like watches them who know who sees like who goes in and out? Yeah, there are several. Uh, several gnomes are powering the portal. Looks like they take a uh, three-hour shift or something. Uh, just whenever somebody needs a portal, they uh, pop them open, make sure they're maintained. I use prestidigitation to raise my voice and. I say, has anyone seen anyone in a red cape? <laughs> or several someone's in a red cape? Look, maybe kind of like the, uh, Scarlet Crusade walking in portals recently. Several of the gnomes cover their ears as your voice resonates in here. And you see a Draenei kind of Adrian and I female peek over the uh, over a ledge of a second uh, floor balcony and goes, Quiet! I am trying to read! You can read over the alarms? That's impressive! Uh, you see her hand wave something and she goes back to what seems to be her books from where you can tell. Uh, but looking across the gnomes before you, they all kind of give you a dumbfounded look of what? One of, them walks up, one of them walks up to you and says, the only portal that's been used today has been the portal to Darnassus. There was a lot of people who went through that portal, lady. I don't know. We don't have security cameras recording all this. You know that, that makes you know that that makes you kind of useless at your job, right? But my job no is offense. to open up the portal, not. Sit but there. it's also to, it's also to watch and be like you know. Great, thanks. Just wanted to clarify that you know nothing. Bye, and I leave. Uh, as you leave, you see the new standard for portal people. You have to be able to name like the number of people wearing any possible combination of any clothes or any features at all. <laughs> Basically, you have to have an eidetic memory in order to work there. Uh, no, I just feel like if you're the one operating the Stargate, you should remember who comes in and out of your Stargate. Except it's yeah, with an eidetic memory. Uh, but anyways, as you uh, leave the... Uh, portals area, you do see a goblin a uh, familiar goblin who just, he just comes up walking next to, uh, next to the door and is carrying like five or six bags of uh, gold and is trying to figure out which one to stash away where first ka -ching, ka -ching, ka -ching. hello boss you know that's going to hinder you from like doing anything, right? Like how are you going to get home that weighs as much as you do? Golden pocket means I can take the flight. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> I walk up. I, I walk up towards the docks, and as I'm walking away from him, I'm like, and he's all he and all his gold are gonna disappear in three days. So what do I care? 
Okay. All right, that puts it at the enemy's turn. Because uh, we did initiative a little funky, I let Katesh go first. So you technically swap positions. Sorry, man. Uh, but uh, the two enemies are going to look at you uh, at this polar bear that's standing in front of them. And you do see the priest uh, make similar motions than, uh, that you've seen before. A priest? What? Someone told me he was a mage. Whatever. <clears throat> and I was lied to. Boo. And he seems to summon a bunch of fairies as well. As it's actually located on his head, which is weird. Uh, anyways, everything within 15 feet will probably have to do some stuff here at the start of the turn. Uh, the dwarf, however, looks at you uh, looks at you, Audric, and is like, <laughs> and rears back with uh, with a couple uh, with a spear that he has, and he is going to make some attacks on you. One, that one will miss completely. Excellent. That one's an 11. I will miss. Barely. <laughs> and another 11. Ah! As he uh, tries to drive his spear into your flank from here and uh, doesn't seem to connect. He seems to be uh, missing you just enough. and is, You can tell he's getting kind of frustrated. All right, uh, that brings us back up to the top of the round. Uh, Audric, is now your turn. Uh, make a wisdom saving throw. Did Katesh get any closer to me? He oh. hasn't had a turn yet. Dang it. Okay, 21. 21 will succeed. You only right. take half damage. Six, six damage. Oh, we can okay. that. And you are now free to do what you want up to a point. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we're going to try to get rid of the stupid fairies. So I will attack the priest. Wisdom guy. saving throw. Do. Nineteen again. <laughs> okay, that will hit. You mean say twenty-five? Twelve. Yes. That is twelve damage. Oh, does twelve damage? Mm hmm Okay. And then I will attempt to make another attack. Okay, wisdom saving throw. He makes his save. Wait, can are both of those? One of those is not a concentration spell. I feel like both of those should be concentration Just spells. On. That is an eleven. That will not work. Uh, that will not go. You can't. Uh, you lose that attack. Okay. It's the uh, the power. So that's of not a concentration spell. Oh, wow, that's op. I, I double checked. It's not. Is it the one that is only active until you make an attack? Because I'm pretty sure summoning the fairy things counts as an attack. Is it, is it sanctuary? Oh, uh, yeah, it does. If it's sanctuary, it, it should cancel. go away. Yeah, it does cancel. Away. Sanctuary okay. is great, though. My yeah, it's a has sanctuary. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, go ahead and roll. Uh, go ahead and attack because that one's gone. Okay. I missed that. Because fairy fire, er, because okay, fifteen, fifteen. Oh, it was close. Uh, that will hit. Okay, for nine damage. Okay, so ten. Uh, that's 
to fail. Which is kind of interesting. Okay. How would you like to kill him? Uh oh, he flimsy. He got hit pretty guess, pretty good. Like I never kill anyone with my bite attack. I guess I'll just kill him with my claw attack. So I guess I'll just claw him right across the chest. Okay. Uh, your second strike re reaches up and claws him across the chest. Uh, so you eviscerated him? Yeah. It leaves mm -hmm. open gashes across his chest as he just is. He falls to the ground in shredded pieces. All right. Anything else? Um. Nope. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just I'll turn to face this guy and roar at him with my bloody fangs and claws. <laughs> okay. Oriana, it's your turn. Alright, where am I? Would put you right about there. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's like an action movie. <laughs> I don't run like that. Well, no. <laughs> More but I can't really, I can't, you can't really do epic running while stationary. You kind of have to do an exaggerated, ridiculous run get the running cross. Oh, this is true. Okay. Uh, from where your uh, from where your token is, you can move from there. But the backs are over yonder. Oh, can someone? I'm being flashing again. Really good. No. It's about to flash. Okay. Uh, how far would you like to move? Then? Five, six, twelve squares. I can move seven squares. Yeah, that's right. So, fourteen squares. Two. Okay, you'd be right about there. Yep. Right about Next. there, he says. Yeah, right about there. Uh, you you are in the same... You, you're, you can see us. Yeah, you can at least see them. Uh, you do see uh, there is one body on the ground already and a bloody bear from where you're at because of your night elf eyes. You are 13 squares from the target. Which right. means you'll be in range of some of your spells next time. Yep. Katesh, it is now your turn. Right, so I'm gonna... Wait, let's see, how far away was I? Okay. I need, it, Benedict is sort of gonna do this... Um, well, no, I guess now it's not worth it. Cause, well, I'll just flank him. That'll be better. So I'll just flank him, and I'll be like... Uh, probably, you know, surrender... Also, I don't care enough to make him surrender, so I'm going to attack, because why not? Element of surprise! And flanking. So I'm okay. going to... Uh, I'm going to... Well... <clears throat> have... Uh, well... Um, Benedict is going to make an attack. A claw attack. Okay. That's going to be a 24. That will hit. Alright, and that's going to deal... I always forget what it's... I think it's, it's 2d6. Three. So that's going to be 11 slashing damage. Yeah, 11 slashing damage. Okay. Alright, and my first attack, which is going to be a. Um, 18. Will 18 hit? 18 will hit. Alright, so I'm gonna add the 2d8 
from my uh, weapon on this one. Because you only live once. Uh, that'll be uh, 22 points of damage. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's gonna heal though, sir. Yole. And that'll be uh, another 18. So okay. that'll also okay. hit. Yeah, that'll hit. Uh, this one's not gonna have my magic 2d8 awesomeness. Actually, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna spend a spell slot and use my own thing to what? give it to you. Okay. Don't spend a spell slot. Who knows what else might happen today? Not worth it. No. So that's uh, that's 21 it. damage. Just save it. No. An additional 21 damage. Okay. So, so that's 43 <laughs> damage. <laughs> I Surrender. Should... Also, let me use my spell slot to get extra damage you. You come up behind I him mean, and crack him very I am, hard in the I spine. Am I am like... trying to knock him like unconscious. I'm trying to keep him alive for question. Okay. For the record. Okay. While also just smashing with my Warhammer. <laughs> it's the perfect a knock unconscious weapon. Just go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. <laughs> it's like the hunting horn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you hit him, he roars back and is like, You've got to be kidding me! Oh, I should. Oh, I am okay. totally serious. Okay. You're coming with us, buddy. Alright, so that brings it to the, the dwarf's turn. And he's going to rotate around and come after you, Katesh. Yay! Unless you're not the ones who stole the Ashbringer, in which case, you don't need to be fighting, but you guys definitely gave us that impression earlier, so... Oh, of course we stole that. the Ashbringer! Who do you think has it? Well, thanks for being very straightforward. This is refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> that is a 20 to hit? That will actually hit me. Okay. That is going to be... A ten points of damage. Okay, I'm gonna uh, use hellish rebuke at second level. He needs to make a dexterity fourteen saving throw. Oh, he's gonna save on that one. That's an eighteen. All right, so he'll take. So he'll take half damage then. Okay. Oh my goodness, are you serious? I rolled two ones? That is the worst 3t10 roll ever. So that is so seven sad. Seven damage? Yeah, seven total, yes. At second level, that is a joke. That is so sad. He looks at you with his uh, eyes kind of bulging with a little bit of rage and swings again at you. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing that v uh, for a much longer gnome. That'll be a 10. Or no, uh, 12. That will miss. Uh, another one? 22. That will hit. Alright. Uh, as uh, he pulls back again, he uh, seems to grip his spear in two hands and uh, is going to hit you a little harder. Not that it matters. <laughs> That's eight more damage. <laughs> oh, cool! I'm still. Oh, nope. I'm actually that actually knocked me unconscious. Ooh, no. That did. What happened? Oh no! Katesh Dude, I took a lot of damage, down. guys. I'm almost there. I'm almost All right, there. as uh, as uh, you fall off, uh, Benedict, uh, the dwarf just kind of roars in power as. He then turns to faces the bear. Oh, hey, he has forgotten the raptor. <laughs> Creature face off. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that brings us to the top of the round. Audric, it is your turn. Okay, well, good thing Benedict is still there, so I get advantage. Yes, you do. Slice him to uh, pieces. Make a bike attack.
14. That will miss. And I'll make a car attack. You roar out with your teeth and it, it just barely misses him. 22. That will hit. <coughs> 9 damage. That's like nine damage. That's all you got. Yep. Okay. Oh, you're dealing forty-three damage to him. You could do nine. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> but you did kill the mage. That was very important. I mean, sorry, yep. the priest. Uh, he's a heretic. By the way, yeah. As you hit, the wild door, animals roars. cannot deal as much damage as crazy paladins with crazy magical holy blessings. Oriana, it's your turn. You have seen Audrey, or you have seen Katesh slide off Benedict. How many enemies are still up? Just the one. Yeah. Audrey's got that. Katesh needs help. Okay. But he stole the Ashbringer. Murder him! <laughs> Can I get within range of Katesh to touch him? Not in one movement. How far away am I from it? You are 13 squares from me. Ish. Maybe 14. He looks to be about 65 ish, but he's also straight off, uh, like one square off of a full straight run uh, to him. So it's about. Move seven feet up, or seven squares up. Okay. Okay, that should put me within like thirty feet of him, right? Uh, that one's close. Hard to tell on that one. Because he's still catty corner to you. Um, well, since I slid off Benedict, should I roll to see which square I actually landed in? Yes. Give me a 1D. Uh, do a 1D4. 1D4? One, one yeah. That'll be 1. I rolled a 4. Okay, which means you would have landed right there. So he is within huh? range of you. Okay. And I will use a sorcery point to create, make uh, cure wounds. Uh, instead of touch range, 30 feet range, I will cast it at third level. Okay. Yay! I get heal spells. <laughs> Not bad. So you get you get twenty two points of health. What? That is awesome. Yes. 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 Anything else, Ori? Tesh, it's now your turn. Alright, we're and gonna your let eyes, Benedict. Your eyes flip back awake and you're like, okay. Uh, uh, we're gonna let Benedict uh, go first with his advantagedness over here. Okay. And you rolled if up. If you just knocked out and all of a sudden you get just healed for like 22 hit points, does that just feel like you were like injected with like. Oh, I'm on. Uh, uh, like, uh, like, uh, I am uh, now! <laughs> I am on. All right, he rolled a 15. A 15? That will miss. Uh, Benedict reaches out and tries to get another kick in on the dwarf, and he just seems to miss. All right, it's surprise attack round from the guy who was just unconscious. Oh, yeah. I don't get flanking. Up.
What? Uh, I'm just noting the movement. Don't worry. If you're not gonna move, it's like you still have to stand up. Oh yeah. No, I rolled so terribly. Shoot. Uh, well, I rolled um a uh yeah I rolled too low. I missed him with both of my decks. What were they? Uh, it least, was at a, least the higher one. The higher one was a thirteen. Yeah, that will miss, unfortunately. Uh, as you stand up to try to show your gnomer, uh, gnomish courage, uh, you take a couple of swings at him, and he just kind of dodges both of them. Alright, that was Katesh. Uh, that brings it to the dwarf's turn. Alright. Oh, lad, you should have stayed down. And he is going to take a couple of attacks. Uh... Audric, this is at you. Okay. Um, wait, he's within... Is he within range of my parry? My shield to make him roll with disadvantage? Uh, what does it say? Uh, let me see. It might match. Double check. Protection. Uh, target other than you within five feet. So I guess... No, he's not within no. five feet. Yeah. Okay. You... It's fine, he, he rolled... Oh, never mind, your AC is terrible. <laughs> uh, I was like, what are you talking about? He rolled low. That's 18. <laughs> low? What do you mean, Kyla? That's not low. That hit. That's low. That hit. I'm an okay. HP tank, not an avoidance tank. <laughs> that's okay with me. I don't care what kind of tank you are. Well, that is 15 points of piercing damage. Dang it, I only have 15 HP. Okay, I revert back to human form. Oh, you're one of them strange druid things. And uh, he's going to take another swing at you. And miss. That's okay. Yeah. He's going to take a swing at uh, <laughs> at the gnome. He just knocked, un knocked unconscious now. Here we go, Audric. Or not, uh, Ooh, 22. Yeah, 22. Right. And that is... Ten points of slashing, or piercing damage to you as he jabs quickly uh, forward to the bear and then uh, redirects his attack back towards you, uh, Katesh. All right. All right. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do hellish rebuke him again. I at the first level, so dexterity 14. Well, I think his dex is really high, so he'll probably succeed. But I want to do something. 14. Okay. Oh, and I'm also gonna uh, wait. Actually, no, I take that back. No, I'm, I take that back. I'm not gonna do that. I change my mind. Okay. I take back these. I'm gonna wait. I think because I think the other thing I want to do is also a reaction. Yeah, I'm gonna actually use fade away. Actually, no, never mind. He only attacked me once. Never mind. I am gonna do that. I take that back. I am gonna do that. Sorry. Okay. He because he used two attacks now because he doesn't have any attacks now. So yeah, I'm gonna I am gonna do that. Oops. No, why am I rolling a twenty? I need to roll two d two d tens. Not not a twenty. <laughs> yeah, I did fifteen damage, guys. Okay, so he takes half of this damage, fire damage. Okay. Twelve. I rolled better with two d ten than I did with three d ten. Thanks, everybody. Okay, so I take six damage. Ah, oh, you've gotten him below fifty percent health. He's looking kind of if, uh, kind of roughish. There we go. Uh, he's a lot farther than fifty percent, but he looks rough. Okay, is that your turn, or is that it for you? That's it's that's the end of his turn, I think. Yep. And that was your reaction, Audrey. It is now your turn. Murder. Okay, Murder. I'm going to use my Murder. bonus action to switch it back into a new bear form. <laughs> You're like, you thought I was done, fool! <laughs> <laughs> and I will attack him. Okay. Vengeance is still there, right? Yeah, your revenge is still oh, there. Oh, so close. 26. 26? I think that hits, sorry. Okay, yeah, that will hit. 
Bro. <laughs> Seven damage. And another attack. Eighteen. He's gonna use his reaction to parry. So what does that mean? It means Just he gains plus three anything. armor. It means your attack misses. Okay. Does that just apply to one attack, or is it? Uh, it's for the rest of the round, if I remember right. Okay, that's no, it's turn. against the one melee attack. Okay. So he's still got his regular AC. It's just that that one attack did not connect. Okay. That's the end of my turn. Okay, Oriana, it's now your turn. Call the dead. Okay, and that's a wisdom save. Mad I am. Oh, that'll be the paladin. He's going to have advantage. Or maybe, oh, that that's my gnome. Not paladin. Uh, he's going to fail that one. Uh, he's going to fail that one. Yeah. Yep, that's a fail. Ooh, that hurts. Nice. Okay, as you release out with your uh, Toll the Dead uh, spell, you finish the inc incantation, the bell forms around his head and rings, and he shakes his head and is like, What well, hurt? Anything else, Oriana? Mm. I'm going to come over here so I can hide behind a wall. Okay. <laughs> uh, also, I could use. Some I'm not. Alcohol. I'm not the melee person. I've only got 12 HP left. Just for the oh, record. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, you didn't tell me that, sweetie. Blessing. Yeah, no. That's why I said it now. I had 22 when I took 10 damage. I thought I had a, a thing. A thing? She has a thing, guys! It's gonna okay. be awesome! It is a thing! We'll have to see I what think. it will do. It's the one where she chucks a potion at the back of my skull. Eat it! Drink it and weep! <laughs> <laughs> It'll absorb through the cut I just made in the back of your head. <laughs> yeah. No, the thing I'm thinking about, my warlock has. So I can't. I don't have a bonus action to heal you. I'm sorry. That's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Alright. That brings us to your turn, Katesh. You're fairly right, bloodied. Got, uh, um, will I provoke an attack of opportunity? Oh, he already used his reaction. He used his reaction so. already. You're fine. Cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna hop back back up on Benedict before I make my attacks, cause YOLO. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm gonna have Benedict soften him up for me. So as I'm running toward it to mount my loyal steed of awesomeness and flamey death, um, he rolled a 17. That will hit. Yes. 17. Yes. I'm making Gimli references because we're fighting a dwarf. Yes! <laughs> that, that's gonna be 10 points of damage. Ooh, that hurts. Uh, Benedict roars up and catches him in the back. The dwarf kind of looks back sidelong, looking a, quite a bit haggard, just kind of says, Oh, so that's how it's gonna be. Alright. Alright, and, and I'm swinging my hammer. Uh, I rolled a 16 for the first one. That will barely hit. That'll hit? Yes! Alrighty, let's do this. Let's go! His AC right. is 16, so you barely hit. Oh, wait, no. Uh, okay, ignore that 4. I don't get that. Okay, it rolled a 3. Okay, that 3 doesn't count. So, oh my goodness, I 9 damage. It's enough. How do you want to do this? Right, and they're like, yeah, 
you you should know better than to take things that don't belong to you. And I did like a backhand like <laughs> smack with my hammer. So he goes like I'm trying to knock him unconscious. So like it's like a, like to the, I, I don't know if he's wearing. But uh, anyway, it's like I envision the smack is concussive enough that he his his limp body goes flying like a couple of feet. Um, for satisfaction purposes. <laughs> okay. Uh, you rear your hammer back, and now that you're back on, uh, on Benedict, you're like, back on my steed, and you swing your hammer at, at him, and it catches his shoulder, and it launches him to the side. Uh, go ahead and roll me a d4. Roll the two. Okay. Uh, it knocks him over. Right there, just past, uh, just past Audric's nuzzle, as he just twi- his body twists and turns and turns in midair, and he lays flat on the ground before you. Not bad. Very well done, guys. Finally got Audric out of his animal form. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to start sending more Death Knights against you. No. Oh. This wasn't no. a Death Knight, so. Unless you give me the Ashbringer, then you can send Death Knights against us. It's just like, I need to dodge until I get up to him, and then I'll stab him. It'll be great. Although maybe not great for Audric's sister. <laughs> <laughs> so, but... <laughs> well, anyways very well done. Uh, you've completed that round of combat. I will let you ask one question for a little bit of roleplay before we close out uh, tonight. And you can uh, choose which one, so it doesn't matter. A question? Uh, I'm going to ask Audric. Could you tell what ship they were going towards? Uh, how would I tell that? I don't know. How would you? Look at the direction they were running? Uh, well, maybe... Yes, maybe their scent trail went out and ahead of them, because like, if someone plans to walk in a direction, their scent just like travels. <laughs> well, if they got off of the boat, their scent would be fainter, but sort of still there. So you think they came by boat and they were retreating to the boat? Yeah, yes, this is what I'm proposing. Okay. Um, Katesh, does your sister wear any particular perfumes? Uh, it doesn't say in your story. Um, uh, you know, I don't really. I feel like she's really radical and and wouldn't really do that. She's really, like, for the cause. She doesn't feel like... I don't feel like she's a perfume-wearing person. Okay. She's not a radical feminist? No. Okay. Uh, Audric, go ahead and make your... Uh, go ahead and make a, a uh, perception check. If you're trying to smell, you get an advantage. I mean, she might smell a little bit like me. That's true. Fourteen... Fourteen. Uh, as you look over the pier, uh, the docks area, um, you look back and forth, trying to catch any smell that they might have, uh, that they might have that might catch, uh, might lead you anywhere. And the smell, all the smells start blending in. Um, this area, because of the sea, uh, the sea area, the foods. Uh, the uh, open markets and the other ships and tons and tons of sailors here make it difficult to pinpoint which one's which. Uh, you just know this is the docks area and that's about it. I just want we'll to get the guards to lock down the lock down the pier, the port, until we can figure it out. You do notice that there are about three or four ships leaving. 
I got those ships, though. How are we gonna lock them? Guards, I need you to stop those. <laughs> Wait, so the these guys didn't have the Ashbringer on them? You didn't investigate that. I didn't search the guy. Yeah, why not? Do that. I'm gonna start searching the guy. I wanna search the guy. Okay. Make an investigation check. Isn't the Ashbringer like a huge sword? Like, how would we not find it? Like, shouldn't we be able to see that he's It could be in a bag of holding or something. Oh, that's true. That's that magic stuff. Magic! Like the magic I need to pull off a successful investigation check. I'll, I'll, I'll also be Dash searching this. I wanna know. Can you show me? I rolled a 15, I believe. Okay. Yes. Oriana, you look at his body. That's a dwarf. Why would you touch a dwarf? Gross. Yeah. Uh, Katesh, you, however, start... Uh, Rummaging through what you can of him, uh, his bags, satchels, and such, uh, you find oh, you found uh, you find uh, ninety gold. Uh, that's just kind of lying loosely in uh, in his bags and in a pouch, and he doesn't seem to have. Anything other than his two or his uh, spear, uh, a shield, and uh, the leather armor that's on him. You do hear the clank, clank, clank uh, of coins walking towards you <laughs> as your goblin is or your goblin buddy is making his way since. Nobody came by the uh, the tower, and the gnomes kind of tried to kill him. Okay, but if they were running to get on a boat, that means presumably the boat has not left yet. Unless they saw us fighting and decided to leave. Yeah, but that fight took like 15 seconds, so like, if there are any boats that are only 15 seconds away from the dock, we'd be able to see that which one it was. Because if it's just starting out, it made it like, what, like 10 feet away from the dock? That's true. We, we, we were really close. I don't know heels. So how are the guards coming? Are the guards... Like, where are our guards? Where are the guards? Okay. Uh, yeah, the guards, uh, the guards themselves, they are um, slowly coming in, and there's a lot still uh, running around in the area, just trying to get everything situated, as it were. We gotta shut down the port. We can't let any of those ships finish leaving. Uh, I don't have any shut down the port spells. No, I'm yelling at the guards. I'm yelling at the guards. Some of the guards look at you and go. And they give you a curious, curious look, and um, show your badge, show your badge, show your badge. That doesn't. It's a piece of paper. It's not a badge. It doesn't apply. Look, this guy said he, he and his buddies were stealing the Ashburn, and they were running for it to boat. He doesn't have it. Okay, make a persuasion check. A persuasion check. That's my bestest roll. Okay, I'm gonna roll like a one. Yes. Yes, it's Just be the twelve. Oh, now you jinxed it. It's a ten. Oh no! Do you have, ins oh, no. Do you have inspiration? Do not have Where would I have gotten inspiration from? I have inspiration. From being inspiring? <coughs> <coughs> nope. Katesh does not. He's already spent it. No, yeah, I used it during the, you know, abomination fight. <coughs> Or before I that. I don't have anything yep. that can help you. Alright. Except to give you my inspiration, but I kind of want to use my inspiration. You can use your inspiration if you guys want. And Kylar crashed. Or not Kylar, uh, Kyrath. 
Okay. And we're back again. Oh, welcome back. Uh, yeah, if you want to use your inspiration, uh, Kyrath, uh, Kyra on uh, the persuasion roll, then you can. On Kylar's uh, persuasion roll, then you can. Uh, other words, I'm going to rule it. Wait, I can do it? You can use your inspiration on just about anything. I okay, see why. Sure. I don't see why not. You can okay, get your inspiration sure. on another player. You just need to roll a two, sir. Why do I need to roll a two? Wait, doesn't need to roll. Just... No, inspiration. Oh, is it's a reroll. Re yeah, oh. it's a reroll. Yeah. So. Oh. I got I got confused with other systems that add things. To... Yeah. Ah, oh, I rolled an eighteen that time. Okay. Uh, in that case. Uh, the guard uh, looks at you and is kind of having a hard time believing this gnome, and is like, but he looks over at, at Audric and uh, notes the the bear pelts, uh, the symbols, druidic symbols that are on uh, on Audric's form. Uh, by the way, War Warcraft druids also have symbols on their body because that's the way it goes. You can choose them if you want to, but there's symbols there, and he kind of notes. Okay, Druid, Paladin, I don't... Okay, and he so, kind of finally agrees, and he's like, all right, give me just a moment, and he starts gathering a couple people, starts organizing uh, a complete lockdown of the harbor. Uh, by the time they manage uh, to finish off, uh, finish up uh, with locking down the harbor, there is one ship that has disobeyed orders and is continuing on. Uh, right, so they have any, like, military vessels? I'm going to commandeer one, and we're going to go hunting it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> unfortunately, they can't, because the Crusade does have a treaty with New Lorder on so they can't fire on it. Uh, they just... You mean a treaty that they broke by stealing the Ashbringer and confessed to stealing? The uh, orders, uh, orders from on high have not come down to capture the Scarlet Crusade. They just know people in red right now. How far out are they? Katesha's an officer of the law. He got a verbal confession. No, it's Stormwind. I'm a sheriff of Stormwind, not Lunaron. Yeah. Oh, Lunaron and Stormwind are different kingdoms. How many feet? How far is the ship out? Uh, from where you're at, it's another uh, 200 feet to get to the uh, the main docks area, uh, and it's probably another. 200 or so to get to the ships and the ship itself is passing about at least 300 past the port so the question is can the three of us capture the ship by ourselves let's just figure it out later also I kind of know things but I kind of like, we'll, be, we'll, we'll find them we'll go kill them and we'll be fine okay uh, I will leave you guys with this as you guys are staring out over the docks to take in the view of everything and see which ship is leaving, which ship is not. You do see a familiar ship, at least the two of you, uh, that has is having a lot of work done. A lot of gnomes are coming on board. There are a lot of laborers coming on, uh, going onto it and coming off, and they seem to be retrofitting the Astrea for something. Bump Audric with my with my elbow. Think they'd be willing to take us on another adventure towards that ship? <laughs> we have other things we need to do here first. Right. <laughs> but like, but like, Audric. Okay. Um, Katesh, uh, since they pointed it out to you, you do see uh, several. Uh, pieces of equipment since you're a gnome and you tend to know some of this uh, you spot some of them as being um, propellers like underwater propellers or like above water like flying propellers flight Ooh. they look like they're preparing it for flight no hey no <laughs> stupid lady better not be flying it Stupid lady. 
Uh, if it's flying, if it does fly, that means we could catch up to him even after we take care of what Oriana needs to. Uh, point of note, Audric, you know the Astraea is part of the Gilnan Army uh, Navy, so stupid lady depends on who you mean by stupid lady, because they've got to be connected to Gilneas to, uh, to even do anything with the ship. Yeah, the gnome lady. I mean, the gnome lady was driving the king of Gilneas, but she was working for that other lady. So I don't think she's connected to Anyway, that's okay. just... We'll figure. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, you see a nice little ship uh, being off, uh, being uh, retrofitted and being built uh, off to the side. Uh, and that view, as well as the view of the Scarlet Crusade ship, uh, leaving port uh, and, wander and sailing off into the distance. As we close out for this episode of Fang, uh, Fangs of the Moon, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, thank you for uh, players for playing. Uh, I was wondering about how y'all were going to handle the uh, gladiator. Really good. Uh, well done, guys. Uh, I haven't unleashed everything yet. I still have my undead army to unleash, so if I need to, I can pull that out. <laughs> yeah. But, anyways, thank you guys for playing, and thank you for joining along with us on Twitch. Uh, all of you who tuned in for this, uh, Iris, Recklin, and one other person who I haven't figured out uh, who joined in. But thank you guys for joining in. I hope you guys have a good night, and God bless. <laughs>